Well, hey there, folks. Here's my 97 Jeep TJ uh, Sahara Edition. It's got the 4 liter inline 6 fuel injected with the 5 speed manual trans. I figured I'd go ahead and make a little update video of it from when I first got it a few weeks ago. And uh, I went through and cleaned it up a little bit, detailed the interior, did a couple things to it. So, thought I'd make a video of it. So, stand by and we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, we'll start outside here. Of course you can see it's got a got a little lift on it. It's got a rough country uh, lift. I'm not sure of the exact height of it. I'm guessing it probably has either a 2.5 or a 3 inch lift. Um, I have measured the coils in the you know, compressed um, uh, configuration in there. And from what I found online it's probably either a 2.5 or a 3 inch lift. And then it uh, has the uh, 33 by 1250 tires, so that gives it another probably, you know, four inches of lift right there from the tire. So we're probably about, you know, five and a half, six inches of lift total. But um, you can see everything's pretty good shape under there. It's got the sway bar uh, disconnects there. You see the coils and the, the shocks, they all match. Um, it's got the upgraded, uh, I'm not sure what the bar is called going across there, but it's got the upgraded bar that goes along with the lift there. And uh, she goes down the road nice and straight. She doesn't, there's no death wobble. There's no, uh, you know, shaking around. The steering wheel stays nice and straight even at 70 miles an hour. It's got, um, yeah, it runs great, you know. It's still got stock gears in it. But it does well at 70 miles an hour with these tires on it. I have, I have no trouble at all. Um, I'm sure it's not as peppy as it was when it was um, on the factory tires. I'm not even sure what size tires came on here factory. But I'm assuming, you know, they were probably like a 29-inch overall, something like that, give or take. I'm not sure. Maybe one of you guys know. But I'm sure it was probably a lot peppy or getting up to speed with the smaller tires. But um, it, it's not bad at all. I have no problems driving around whatsoever. And it does have the, um, the speedometer has been corrected. It has a correct gear in there for the bigger tire. So I've checked it with GPS. It's dead on. Um, so anyways, we'll start out here in the front. Um, I don't know who makes the headlights, but it does have the LED headlights, and they work great. I've adjusted them. That's one of the first things I did when I bought it. I adjusted them so they're both, um, you know, perfectly level. I've got to have my headlights level. And um, I got them pretty good, and then I dropped them just a little bit because I know these aftermarket LEDs, you know, can be blind people pretty good when you're on a two-lane road out in the country. So, you know, I put them a little bit low just so I don't blind oncoming traffic, and they're still plenty bright for me. The high beams work great. This light bar here just kills it. You turn that on, it just lights, I mean, everything up. Uh, the light bar is hooked up to the factory uh, driving or fog light switch, so it's all done nice and clean. works well. I'm not sure who makes the uh, the bumpers on here, but it does have some nice heavy-duty front and rear bumpers. And you can see it's got the uh, the Smitty built 9500 Gen 3 winch there. I know the fad right now with synthetic ropes. I'm just going to leave that went that cable on there. I mean, those have worked fine for the you know the last hundred and fifty years or however long they've been using them. So. I don't see any reason to change that, and I'll probably never even need it. But if I do, I'm sure that'll work fine. Um, so that's what it's got going on in the front there. Um, it does have these uh, rugged ridge. Um, I forgot the the model of these fenders, but it has these you know aftermarket rugged ridge fenders. It also has the LED lights in them. Got those all around there. I think they they had a real nice touch to it. Um, I say it's got the Dick Seapick uh, 33 by 1250 15 tires in these uh, Black Rock uh, wheels. It's got five of them. It's got the four and the spare tire. So that's awesome, you know, that they sprung for the extra one. Uh, the spare tire is a 33, but it's a 3310, uh, 331050. But, you know, all these match. Good tread on them. Has the rock sliders on it there. And it has the KC mounts in case, you know, I want to put some KC lights or something on there. I guess a previous owner put those on it. 
some time. I don't think anything was ever even mounted to them. Windshield's good. No cracks, no scratches, no problems with that. Um, everything works on it. Um, you know, for a 24-year-old vehicle, I'm surprised. But absolutely everything that's supposed to work on this thing totally works 100%. And uh, the, the rear seal on this 4-liter on this engine does not leak. I don't have any leaks on this Jeep, which I'm thrilled about. It has 205,000 miles on it, but you can see it's it's been taken care of pretty well. It's not perfect. You know, it's got some scratches and dings, but they're pretty minor for, you know, considering the age and the guy actually uses thing. You know, he put the locking gas cap thing on there. I guess it looks cool, kind of makes it a pain in the butt to put fuel in it, but, you know, it's there, so I'll go ahead and leave it. It's got the rear under defroster, you know, the rear rear windshield wiper there. Just got to cover my plate, because you never know, I might have a stalker out there, right? So here's the back bumper, I'm assuming it's probably built by the same company as the front. But, uh, got that on there. Got the spare tire with the matching wheel. I went ahead and added this uh, gas can mount here. So this is made by a, a, a Hook Road. Bought it on eBay. So you take the wheel off and it mounts behind the wheel there. And uh, that's where you can adjust it there for whatever size tire you have. And it's real solid. And then I bought the gas can at Harbor Freight. You know, it's a $50 jerry can from Harbor Freight. And it is full of fuel because... You know, when we when we go out there in the desert, you know, I'm I'm probably going to need it. I wasn't sure if this had a 15 or a 19 gallon gas tank. Even the manual says it can be a 15 or a 19. Well, I got underneath, got the part number off the fuel tank, Googled it, and it is a 19 gallon tank, so that's good. So, um, you know, from the fuel mileage I'm getting from this, I I get anywhere between 14.5 to 15.5 miles a gallon depending on how I drive it, you know, but I just figure at 14.5 miles a gallon, 19 gallons, that'll get me 275 miles, and then I've got another 5 gallons in there, so that's good for another 75 miles, you know, just in case. Just not there for looks, it's definitely going to get used, and I tried to make it, you know, somewhat tweaker proof, you know, I've got a cable and a lock on there. does have the LED uh, tail lights, which are, you know, super bright there. That's nice. Brake lights. All right. Let me go ahead and... Uh, well, it does have a, a CB uh, antenna mount there. It had a little generic Cobra WX75, the little handheld thing. That didn't get out, you know, half a mile. So I pulled that out of there. So I don't know if I'm going to put like a little unit in, maybe 510 Pro or something small in there. Or, um, you know, maybe I'm just going to skip the CB altogether and just, you know, keep a GMRS handheld radio and just hook it, you know, get it hooked up to some repeaters or something. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, don't have a lot of room in here, so it would have to be something small. All right, stand by and we'll go ahead and go on, go on in the inside and check it out. All right, folks, here's the driver's side in here. It's all really clean. I didn't put the steering wheel cover on it. It came with it, but I figured, what the heck, it's in pretty good shape. I'll just leave it there. Um, it had the best top front uh, uh, floor mats in it, and those are real nice. You can see how they're contoured, and they'll catch mud and water and whatnot. So I went ahead and ordered some rears for it, too. I've got those in there. Those are like 110 bucks shipped just just for the the two rears i thought it was a lot of money but um, these seem to be the best uh floor mats for here and they're rubber they're they're a lot more grippy than those weather techs those weather techs are kind of slippery so um if you watch the first video on it i did put the factory seat back in here it's a lot more comfortable the back actually goes back you know you can adjust it and it's not torn or ripped or anything Got a couple new ones of these I put on there, you know, just ordered them off eBay because on the old one I went to get in and I, you know, it was old, ripped the nylon. So I got a couple new ones of those in there. Uh, the visors are in good condition. I don't have to replace those. 
Um, he did have the fuse pulled for the for the lights in here, probably because he, when he had the doors off. But I did put the fuse back in, and uh, I put LEDs in here. So that way, you know, if you're out in the desert or something, you leave the door open for a little while, you don't have to worry about the battery dying because LEDs hardly draw any power. Uh, those are LEDs too. Even that weird one back there. It might not look like it because the cover is, uh, you know, just old looking, but it's an LED in there as well. And this here is the base knob for the for the little power subwoofer in here. It actually has quite quite a good amount of base. So the stereo was in here, and I looked it up. It's a uh, it's a it's a 2018 model, and it's got you know the USB there for music and a 3.5 millimeter input and Pandora and iHeartRadio and Sirius Radio and or XM or I mean it's it's got every darn thing you can possibly want. But um, that's all I do. I just plug that in. I've got a couple hundred, you know, songs on there. It is a five-speed manual there. And um, it has the Polk Audio speakers up here. And it also has the Polk Audios and the dash here on both sides. And it has a uh, separate four-channel amplifier for, for these four speakers here. And then it has a eight inch, uh, a small, uh, a powered subwoofer as well with its own amplifier. All right, folks, here we are on the passenger side. I mean, for the age, for 205,000 miles and a, you know, 1997, 24 year old vehicle, um, you know, it's in good shape. I went ahead and used my, um, you know, carpet cleaning uh, it, it extractor and, and cleaned all the carpets. They they came out really well. I cleaned the seats, cleaned the back seat. It's not like they were filthy, but um, I definitely got them a lot better than they were. And I haven't put any type of protectant or anything on the dash. I just, you know, wiped it down just with the damp mi microfiber towel. And um, it's not scratched up. It's in really good shape. I'm, I'm really happy about that. All right, so here's the back seat here. Can see it's super clean as well. Um, I got the carpets really nice and clean in here, and then here's those matching best top uh, floor mats I got. Like I said, these are like 110 bucks shipped. I think I got them off uh, uh, Amazon. But um, you know what? I figured I'd just go ahead and get the ones that match. You know, the front ones seem pretty good. Uh, people really seem to like these, so I just bit the bullet and just you know got got two more there. So those are real nice. And you can see the top here. I mean, it's all clean and, you know, everything's in good shape there. All right, here we are here in the back. There's that uh, little powered subwoofer it came with there. And it actually sounds really good. When I first got this, I knew it had the powered subwoofer and the deck, of course, but I didn't know it had the other four channel amp and the Polk audios. And I was just going to tear this thing out of there and just make more room. But it sounds so good that uh, I'm, I'm just leaving it. It just kind of adds to it. And it has this uh, best top, uh, you know, cover here in the back that, uh, that the other guy added. And it may not look like a lot here. This This little bit of stuff goes right in here but I've got quite a bit of stuff here I've got a little tool kit and you know I've got um, a lot of things I may need in here and um, a lot of you know tire tire plugs I've got a you know 12 volt air compressor in there and jumper cables and um, like I say it doesn't look like a lot but I really thought about what I needed and and really tried to pack it in here light but I've got just about you know, everything I'm going to need to get, get me out of trouble. And I've got a little fire extinguisher there. I keep one in all my vehicles. I mean, you never know when, a, you know, you're going to see someone else, their vehicle's on fire or, you know, a fuel line pops off under the hood or, you know, something happens and, and, and you got a fire going. So it's good to have it just in case. It's not just a Jeep thing, believe me. I got one of my F-150, the Expedition, and the Kia. I keep them in all the vehicles. I always have. I always will. So that's kind of, you know, most of these are beat to death. You can see how clean it is. 
Yeah, so it kind of looks like that, you know, when it's closed up. All that stuff in there that I may need. All right, then I put the 7-inch uh, hitch extension on there. 2-inch extension. So that way I can put my cargo basket on there right there. And then I've got my totes right there. That way I can carry extra stuff or we can haul rocks home, you know, when we're out exploring. Yeah, guys, I stock up on engine oil like crazy, man. When it's cheap, I get it. But uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, under the hood, it's just a, you know, stock four liter that's been really well maintained. Uh, the oil stays nice and clean in it. Doesn't get dark. Doesn't leak. Doesn't smoke. Passes emissions. Um, I'm, I'm I'm really happy with it. So um, yeah, that's just a kind of an update on it. I got a couple extra parts coming. You know, just little things I've ordered. When they're here, I'll go ahead and put them in. But uh, for the most part, it's it's you know. I've been driving it every day. It runs great. Uh, we took it off-road, climbed some hills with it, cruised right up in four low. You know, put it in first gear four low. This thing just, just goes right up and right down like nothing. And here it is in the front on the other side. I forgot the name of this bar. Not, not this one, but the one on the back there, the one they upgrade. That there's been upgraded. You can tell it's a thicker bar, and it's adjustable on the other side. That's the one that gives you the death wobble if it comes loose there. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that. And I showed this before, but they put some uh, LEDs in the dash there, and they light up really, really neat looking there. And then here's those LED headlights. You can see I've got them adjusted really nice. And those are the low beams. But they, I mean, they put out tons of light. You can see those are LED. If you come back here, he's got the LEDs in the rear. And when you hit the brake lights, you know, they're really bright. It's a good safety thing to have. And I did add a uh, license plate light because it didn't have one. It didn't have one in that light, so I added one of those. That way I'm legal driving around at night because you need one of those. They'll pull you over for that. And I have gone underneath. I've checked all the U-joints. You know, everything seems nice and tight. I did lube, you know, all the grease fittings all on the front end. Wherever there was a grease fitting, I lubed it. And, um, you know, just checked everything out. Everything seems to be really good. Um, there's there's a lot of new hardware under it. And uh, the drive line is, is at the correct angle. It does have the uh, transfer case drop down, the one inch drop down kit on it. You can either do that or you can do the slip yoke, um, slip loke yoke. Oh, slip yoke eliminator but they they drop the transfer case by one inch you can see that right there but uh yeah that's that's kind of an update and you know then i've had it a few weeks and i've really went through it um it's an awesome jeep it runs great i really like it and we're going to be using the heck out of this thing real soon all right y'all be good thanks for watching appreciate it here i thought about it i better show under the hood nothing special man hasn't been cleaned under here just your just your four liter doesn't leak anything though and I do keep a gallon of water back there I can fit it in there I don't have to keep it inside it does have a new radiator new hoses new water pump all that good stuff on it all right folks once again thanks for watching hope you liked the video